Okay. Hello everyone. Today I will talk to ba top bantamweight contender Australian Jason Maloney, who challenged twice for IBF World Title. Hi, Jason. How are you doing? Yeah, very good, mate. Thanks for having me on. Uh, thanks too. Uh, my name is Michael Adamczyk of BoxingZone.org. Uh, Jason, less than two weeks ago, you scored another victory in your professional career in your hometown of Melbourne, Australia, on the undercard of Hani Cambosos. You won by unanimous decision against experienced uh, now upon Kaikana. Uh, what do you say about your performance? Yeah, I was pretty happy with the performance. Um, you know, it was a big fight. There was a lot on the line. It was um, WBC number one versus number two in a in a final eliminator. So very tough opponent in Noah Fon Kaikana. Um, he's had 58 professional fights and only the one loss. So he's a very good fighter, very experienced. And I was expecting a very tough fight. And that's what I got. He was, um, yeah, he was very tough. Um, I had to be pretty disciplined. I had to really stick to the game plan and, um, yeah, I just outboxed him throughout the 12 rounds, which I think was good. Um, I think it was good for me to get that 12 rounds under the belt against a very good fighter. And uh, now we move on. We move on to bigger and better things and my next fight will be for the world title. So very excited and, um, yeah, can't wait to finally achieve my dream and become a world champion. Yeah, that's what I want to ask you. Uh, the fight against Kaikana was a WBC World Championship title eliminator. Uh, do you think that uh, in your next boat you will fight for World Championship belt? Yeah, that's what I believe. Um, yeah, we'll fight, I'll fight for the world title. That's on the mandatory with the WBC. Um, and it looks like, obviously we, we, we don't know, it looks like that um, Anui is going to fight Butler in December and then he's going to move up to the next weight division and, and vacate the title. So... Uh, the belt will become vacant, I believe. Um, and then, yeah, I'm number one, number one contender, so I'll fight for the belt. How did your training camp look like uh, for the fight against Kay Kana? Uh, the same as always, just uh, a lot of hard work. Um, I don't necessarily have training camps. Um, straight after I beat Palik Day in my last fight, um, I had a week off just to let the body heal, and then I was straight back in the gym. Just working hard every day to get better and get better. And um, I just love training. I love being in the gym. Um, and we worked extremely hard. A lot of, lot of hard sparring, a lot of running. Just left no stone unturned and, and got in the ring extremely fit. I finished the 12 rounds of that fight. And honestly, I could have done another 12, no problem. I was very comfortable. Um, and, yeah, um, my fitness is is elite um i don't think there's many that can that can keep up with me or or that'll be able to outwork me over 12 so i was very happy with the preparation now who did you spar with i guess one of your main sparring partners were uh, like bruno tarimo vegas larfield your brother andrew of course uh, anyone else yeah sparred all them um we also had a guy from chile that came over to, to train with us junior cruz uh he's a very good Prospect coming up from Chile. Um, he actually fought on the same day as us over in Chile and, and won the national title. Um, so I did a lot of rounds with him, actually. Um, he's, he's a super featherweight. Um, and, yeah, he's, he's a very good prospect who uh, has, a, has a big future. And, he, yeah, did some great rounds with him. And, yeah, uh, the other guys you mentioned, um, you know, Bruno Tarimo, my brother, Vegas Larfield, uh, Rayota Sato from Japan, who trains with our, at our gym as well. Got some really good, really good sparring. Um, and yeah, I was very well prepared. Uh, what do you think uh, is your biggest asset and what should be improved most in your boxing? Uh, my greatest asset is probably my professionalism. I'm, I take this sport very seriously. I make all the sacrifices. I really dedicate myself and I live the life. Um, uh, I take this sport very serious. I've got big goals and that I want to accomplish. So I'm always in great shape. I'm always training, very disciplined. Um, and I think doing that over a long period of time, all those hard work and all the sacrifices are starting to pay off. But, um, yeah, every day I just want to get better. I think I'm a good, very good, well-rounded fighter. I, I can box and move on the back foot like I did a lot against Kaikana. 
um, or I'm very comfortable go, going forward and being aggressive and getting on someone's chest. So I think I can do a bit of everything. Um, I like to have no weaknesses or minimal weaknesses. So I'm always working on things that I feel can get better and that I can improve on. Um, so I think I'm very well-rounded. Uh, how would you rate the collaboration with Top Rank so far? Yeah, very grateful uh, to be signed by Top Rank and the opportunities they've given me. Uh, I'm very excited for the for the future ahead. Um, obviously, my next fight will be for the world title and, and I plan on holding that belt for a long time. And And main goal is to be undisputed at Bantamweight. Um, but I know Top Rank can get me those big fights and those big opportunities and I just got to do my part and keep winning and they can pave a very successful future. Jason, tell us uh, what gives you uh, like the greatest motivation? Well, obviously I started the sport for myself um, because I love boxing and I wanted to go as far as I could. Um, I wanted to be a world champion and be the best that I could be. And I just love that I can get up every day and do something that I love. You know, I don't get up and go to a job that's, you know, that's boring or that I hate or that, I, you know, I feel like, oh, I've got to go to work today. I love training. I love boxing. And I'm very grateful that I can do this as my career. And now that I'm a, a father, I've got two young daughters now. I've got a, a three-and-a-half-year-old daughter and, and another daughter who's only one year, one year old. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're my main motivation now is to give them the best life that I can give them and to, yeah, to make them happy and make them proud and to pr pr provide for them, you know, give them the best life I can. So that's a, a very big motivation for me now. Um, and, yeah, if I keep winning, uh, I think I can do them very proud. Jason, uh, I found out like a few weeks ago uh, that you defeated George Campos uh, in the amateurs. Can you tell us uh, more about that? Yeah, that, a long time ago now, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah, I heard it was a long time ago. Andrew told me about yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we were, oh, I think I was 16 years old in the amateurs. Uh, I don't know. I probably only had a, 10 fights or so. I'm not too sure. But um, it was a funny story, actually, um, and a good scalp good name to have on the resume. So um, I was actually at home sitting on the couch with my dad. Um, I was still at school at this time. And I think it was a Thursday night. And um, my dad got a phone call from the matchmakers in our state and said, does Jason want to fight tomorrow night in Sydney? Um, we've got a very good ticket seller, which was George Cambosis. He was undefeated at the time and, um, yeah, he used to get a lot of people come and support him. Um, and they said, you know, he sold a lot of tickets and his opponents just pulled out the night before. We need a replacement. And um, I said, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. So I actually went to school the following day uh, for a couple of hours and Dad had to come and pick me up early from school. We went to the airport. I flew to Sydney from Melbourne to Sydney, um, got off the plane, uh, went straight to the boxing venue, weighed in everything, and uh, fought George, George Cambosis in a great fight, a really, really good fight. I can remember it. Um, and, yeah, it was a very close fight that I that I managed to win. And um, I think it was I think it was George's first loss. And, yeah, very good, very good win for my amateur career, um, which, yeah, looking back on now, is very good to have on the resume. So it was a good story. Uh, a good win and, yeah, a good fight to have. And, um, yeah, obviously both doing well now in our professional careers. So it was a long time ago, but still got that win, yes. Yeah, but you did it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, Jason, uh, thank you so much for a great conversation. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, we wish you good luck. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, thanks for having me on. It's good to speak to you again. I remember meeting you in Oklahoma. So, yeah, good to see you again. And um, we'll chat again soon. Yeah, thank you so much. Be safe. Okay. <laughs> See you, mate.